Hey everyone, Joey Salinas here again with another greater DAOR quick tip. Today's quick tip is Cloud CMA. I want to show you how to create beautiful CMAs and send them to clients. All through Cloud CMA, you can access through the MLS. So on your realtor dashboard, we're going to go ahead and go into Cloud CMA and we will be taken to our CMA reports. From here we see we have many options in building reports. We can do a buyer tour, a property report, a flyer. Homebeat is an option as well. And from right here I'm going to go ahead and click create CMA report. Now I can also start building CMA reports right from the MLS, right? So I just did an active search and I just chose a random property. By clicking on that random property, I actually can go into Cloud CMA. And that will actually take me into creating that CMA report. And we see that I have that MLS number already drawn into this CMA. But I'm going to go ahead and go back to creating a CMA. We're going to go ahead and click on Create CMA Report. Right, it's going to say name of the report off of the client. So I'll go ahead and say Joe Client. Any private notes that you want to write can go right here. We are going to go ahead and do the subject property. If we wanted to, we can fill out information right here that can help us in searching our comps. But that is unnecessary. And then right here, how do you want to get comparative listings? Right, so we can do the quick and dirty way by just automatically find listings near the subject property. And we want to get at least 10 and only go back six months for off market listings. We have the option for more criteria if we need to, even a list price. So we'll go ahead and set that list price. We see that we've already pulled up an MLS number. And we're going to go ahead and click on Fetch Listings. So now we've pulled up our actual report. And we can see the comps that were produced from Cloud CMA. All in green are active, yellow are pending, red are sold. We see that as long as we set the price for what this is, we then can continue to build a more accurate CMA. We can click on which properties to use or which properties we don't want to use. So we will not use this one. That's too high in my value. We'll go ahead and keep it for these two. And we have the option to customize the report once we actually set up our comps and go through them. And we're able to choose a theme, such as a color, and see how that looks. As well as a layout, right now I have two photos side by side, but we see we can have photos with max data, two column comparison. So this is just setting up the actual report that's going to be viewable via PDF document to yourself or to a client, right? As well as the font and a cover. To the right are everything that is going to be added to the report, such as the title page, the cover letter, your agent resume. You get to control what you want in there. So if you want to take out the agent resume, right, we'll go ahead and take out the adjustments right here. And to the left, if you need to add anything, you definitely can. Additional content, such as introductions, right, our company agent resume. More photos or adjustments. And you can continue to go down there are power packages, right? Tom Ferry pages. So you go ahead and just go and figure out which actual reports do you want. And then we're going to go ahead and just publish the report. Welcome to iBuyer Connect. Currently, our investors are looking for homes that are fixers to flip. 
So if the property you're looking to sell is turnkey, and your seller so we're is looking- we're gonna go ahead and skip that for now. That was just gonna give us an information. And we see now that I've created this report and I have the option to view this PDF. It is going to be in a cloud, so it is only PDF viewable. This is the market analysis branded to myself. We can see that I've added what is the CMA and we can go through contact me. And then we see the map of the comparable listings. Right, so beautiful reports. We can view this as a slideshow if we want to present it to our actual client. Or we have the option to copy this PDF link so that others can view it, copy the slideshow link so that, that our clients can view the slideshow themselves. We can email the report. If we do email the report, it will only be a link to access this cloud, not actual the PDF. So they won't be able to save it or download it, only access it. My name is Joey Salinas. This has been another Greater DAOR Quick Tip. Today's Quick Tip was CMAs with Cloud Agent.